Hey guys, Bo here, Circle One Promotions. We're here at Mary Moore Sea Ride Park for the second round of the practice rounds for the uh, National Amateur Disc Golf Championships. It's uh, uh, it's West Texas wood. It's old. the uh, ground is very rocky. Tons of cedars. Uh, grass is very long. But uh, we're gonna play it. See how it plays out. Rough, rough, as it's going to be over on the right hand side. There you go. You guys, hold two. Par three, 282 feet. This is straight, pretty straight. I mean, you can throw a flex shot with a putter or with a mid, um, or you can even just go straight up the gut. See how it plays out. That's good. That's a nice one, Joa. That's a putt. Just sit. Hole three, par four, 540 feet. Just going over to the right. Keep going 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 to the right. Okay, he's hole four, part three, 228 feet. It's a straight little forehand shot, maybe a little forehand flex shot. Slightly downhill, basket off to the right. We've got a little bit of cedar guards there, so, uh, garden skips, so it'll put you at edge of circle if you hit it. Oh, good run. Hole five, part three, 185 feet. Basket's through there somewhere. It's off to the right side. That's there. Bye. Put Joa. Full six, part three, it's about 185, 184 feet. Same distance. You got this little ceiling here. And you got a, a little drop off behind. But what you got here is an H round. See how it plays out. Better go, Joe. 
7 par 3, 249 feet. It's going to be left, left, left. And go left. And it'll be the left. Good up, Joa. Hole eight, part three, 231 feet. It is a straight shot, but if you finish off to the left, you still have a 20, 25 footer. Oh, that is bombed. All right, guys, hold nine. Par three, 390 feet. This is gonna be a pretty difficult par. Uh, it's pretty tight. And low ceiling at the end. I mean, this is, this is difficult. Holt's in part three, 261 feet down here, over to the left, to the basket. There you go. 11 part three, 216 feet. Basket is off to the right. You've got this narrow gap here. Basket over here. You do have somewhat of a hyzer from behind the tee, but it's very, you have this hyzer as well. Yep, there's that. Oh, 12, par 4, 471 feet. It is a doozy. Straight through this gap. Which is pretty tight because you've got tons of different trees. Basket straight all the way through there. Oh, well, that's great. Pole 13, part three, 249 feet. You have to ascend the little hill, the little steps. You can see the band of the thing right over there. There's the basket. That looks like it's there. That's buddy. Nice butt. 14, part three, 267 feet. Slightly uphill basket's gonna be way, way left, way left.
hole 15, par 3, 330 feet, way downhill. Okay, wow. Oh man, the sun's kind of blocking this a little bit, but you got this nice little mountain line here. You look down, and there's the basket. That's nice, Joa. Hole 16, part three, 255 feet. Basket off to the right. Yeah, this is our first time. From Midland, off to the right. I'm turn them up, we're just trying to get this on video so we can. Something like that. A little bit harder, but man, you had a good line. I think that was nice. Look at that. Alright guys, hole 18, par 3, 300 feet. This kind of goes off to the right a little bit, but it is definitely a backhand shot because if you skip to the right, it is jail, brother. Lucky dog! That's nice, Joe. All right, guys, we finished up over at uh, Marymore Sea Right. Uh, not my favorite type of park. I hate the, the rocky fairways. I don't like the the cedar trees when it comes to a disc golf fairway because when you get in there, it's just impossible to get out. There's no I mean, scrambling is insanely difficult. Uh, a lot of these lines are super tight if you want to take the gaps. You know, it's just really just, hey, try to overpower the course by throwing over everything. And then hope it gets through. Zilker, even though Zilker is like a much shorter course, and really just like a forehand friendly course, I actually like it better. Uh, we played both. And I'm glad they're playing Zilker three times and this one only once. Uh, this one is not really going to determine who's a better overall disc golf player. This one's just going to be able to determine who, who can put in the most awkward positions and, I mean, who can throw giant spike hyzers that uh, are the most accurate. But, I mean, I, I, if, I, if, if I lived here in Austin, I wouldn't play this course uh, very often maybe every, every once in a while if I wanted to change up a few things but other than that I mean I'd say it's a, probably like a six and a half seven course you know it does have a couple of par fours the tee pads are short it does have an end of a disc catchers but really it's not uh, this is deer country we saw a lot of deer out here we saw a buck chasing the doe uh, trying to run her down. It's deer country, and deer country here in Texas is not really the best uh, disc golf country. See you in the next one.